Hi, my name is Alicia. Hi, everybody. My name is Jeff. Aquaponics is a marriage of aquaculture, which is raising fish, and hydroponics, which is growing with a soilless media. Our system is able to use 90% less water than traditional agriculture. With our system, we are able to turn one square foot into two. We are able to use vertical grow space, which means that in countries and places where they don't have a lot of land, we are able to optimize the amount of produce that we can grow more than they would be able to in traditional agriculture. Our system is able to provide not just produce, but high nutrient produce that is organically grown, and it also provides fish, which is a great protein source for people in need. Food is a key piece of what we're trying to solve here. I mean, it's extremely important to all of us, right? But in addition to food, you also have to look at the energy requirements of each of us. And part of this system is that we want to provide not only sustainable food, but sustainable energy. A key piece of that for this system design is, of course, solar. It doesn't have very many moving parts, pretty easy to maintain, easy to deploy. And in most places where we want to send this system, there's lots of sunshine. But that's not all. Let me take you over to the digester and show you what it can do for us as well. We're here at the entrance to the digester. Right here, this goes down 12 feet into the ground into a big cement container. Within that container, we fill all of our manure waste from our animals, as well as table scraps or any other organic matter like uh, lawn waste or anything that can biodegrade, we put down in the digester. Then bacteria take over and they actually convert all the solids and liquid waste that we put in there into two really great byproducts. The first one is called Digest State, which is a liquid um, fertilizer. It's really great stuff. You can put it on your fields or you can put it back into the system here and actually help provide trace minerals that you wouldn't normally get somewhere else. <clears throat> and then it also produces methane, and that's a big one for us. In addition to the solar system that I just showed you, we can also generate methane off of this system and then burn that in a, di in a um, generator to produce electricity or we can actually burn it for heat. So this is a great solution. Digesters are used in many parts of the world, but when you put it together with solar, with aquaponics, with the control units that we have in here to help optimize everything, it's a really great solution. So think about third world countries, their waste management problems, the rivers that get polluted, uh, we can collect all of that waste and we can put it in this digester and actually turn it into something very, very useful and actually generate electricity for them right on location. Families, including men, women, children, communities, countries, first to third world can all benefit from our system. It's such a gratifying feeling to be able to harvest your own produce. Behind me is what we call HAB1. Essentially, it's our first prototype system. It's taken us a long time to get here. Five years of research, a year's worth of design, and we're at about a year and a half right now of build. It'll take us two years total. Again, I'm doing it before and after work and on weekends, so uh, it takes us a while. But right here, uh, there's a cleared area out in front, and that's where what we call HAB2 or Phase 4. And what we want to do is go through HAB1 and figure out all the things, all the mistakes we made, all the ways that we can optimize the system. We want to figure those out. Then we want to build HAB2 right here. Take all the lessons learned and make a significantly improved prototype system. It's still a prototype. Remember, a lot of these parts and things that we need, they don't exist. Uh, we were able to go big like this because we could find parts that we needed. But in order to make it efficiently, we really need to do some custom building. And HAB2 is going to be a big piece of that. But we're not done. After HAB2, we want to do a Connex version where we can actually shrink this whole thing down and get it all installed into a Connex. And that Connex can be supported and transported throughout the world with an existing logistical infrastructure. That's a key piece of what we want to do. Then on the other side, once it's delivered, you can either open up and basically kind of like transform into a system, kind of like this one where you have the solar panels and everything's just packaged and readily uh, deployed. Or we can actually load everything into the Connex so that once we get it on location, people on the other side can unload it and start the build process. So we're excited about that and we want to get that out there. One of the key reasons we want to get it out there is because of food security. We don't think it's a good idea to have all your food production localized or centralized, excuse me. 
in one spot. Instead, we want to distribute food uh, production to the local communities around the world. Maybe even just you, yourselves, on your own property, on your own piece of land, whether you're in the city or whether you're in a rural area like we are. We want to get this Conex version small enough to where you can produce your food and your energy locally. It's going to take us a while to get there, but we're on the right path. Hi, my name is Alicia, and my career history is as a registered nurse. I have a heart for mission work and for helping other people who are in need. I also have a passion for cooking with the food we grow. Uh, thanks to my husband's ingenuity, we are so excited that we are given this opportunity to be able to help others in need grow their own food and cook with the food that they grow and have that gratifying experience. Hi everybody, my name is Jeff. Um, I am an aerospace engineer by degree. I served in our country's Air Force for five and a half years as an officer. Uh, I was working in space systems uh, when I chose to, le to leave and come back home. And when I came back home, I now work as a program manager at a local aerospace company, and I'm responsible for their new product development. Got started on this project uh, with my dad over, boy, it was like seven years ago. Uh, he and I both uh, had a passion to try to figure out how to live more sustainably. Uh, with solar power and growing your own food as, as well as other technologies. So I spent five years doing research and came up with the system that we've shown you in this video and it's been very rewarding. Uh, so we look forward to being able to figure out a way to uh, get this system out to everybody to help them. There's a lot of things going on in the world today that we feel that this could really help so, uh, solve some of the problems. I've learned how to plant, I've learned how to grow, I've learned how to take care of the plants, I've learned how to take care of the fish. It's definitely been challenging at times, but I'm thankful for the process. It's been rewarding, and it's going to be great to be able to share this knowledge with others so they can have that same experience. It's been quite some journey getting to this point. As you can see behind me, there's quite a bit of work that we've had to do in order to make it here. Now, I work full time, and I've been doing this on the weekends and at night. Uh, during the day, wake up in the morning sometimes to do it before work. It's taken a lot of hard work to get here, uh, but my degree, the experience I've had uh, in education and engineering, as well as my experience in the Air Force where I deployed eight months to Baghdad, uh, and even my job that I have right now today, all of these things uh, have led to having enough knowledge and expertise to be able to help others uh, get a system like this, get it into their local uh, location, and actually deploy it. Uh, to other parts of the world, maybe where they don't have all the key services or needs and support um, that we have here. We have that experience and we like to help uh, others. We want to provide sustainable food and energy to local communities around the world. That's what we're about. That's what we want to do. Our business is the Raymond Ranch LLC. We are currently growing and, are, and selling our microgreens to some local restaurants in our area. And we've been doing it for, what, almost eight months now. We've actually gone through our first big winter here, so we were able to do this throughout winter. It's, it's been a challenge. We've had to learn a lot and how to make changes, and there's more changes to come. And that's kind of the stepping stone of what we want to do. We want to take everything we've learned with the Raymond Ranch LLC and grow it into what we our, our next vision, which we call G11 Incorporated, where we'd actually take all this work, get some engineers, have them on staff, and we'd actually design and produce the equipment, make it affordable so that everyday people could buy this type of a uh, system, and then also get it in that Connex that we've been talking about and deploying it throughout the world. We feel really strongly that we want to help those people in need, and I know I'm excited about it. Yes, it's very exciting. It's had its challenges, but it's exciting to know that we are going to be able to take our system and help those who really need it the most. I believe, we believe, as Christians, it's our moral and ethical responsibility, even if you're not a Christian, to help our brothers and sisters who are suffering. And we believe that our system can help with that. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot that we've gone through and we hope that in this video that we can share, you know, our, our trials that we've had, but also the successes because we feel that we're at a point now where we can actually take our lessons learned and as we get uh, phase for getting the next habitat built, have two that we talked about, and then getting that Connex prototype built. Uh, you know, we need financial help for that. Uh, this, the system that we have right now, again, it, it'll support four families of four, uh, and this total cost will be about $150,000 that we've had to find on our own. And uh, we've cashed out retirement to get here. It's been a big investment. So 
we really need your help. We need other people's help to get the funding uh, to do HAB2, which will probably be about another $150,000, and then to actually really productize that and make it smaller, uh, even though there'll be less equipment, less hardware, it'll cost more um, because we're going to have to actually get things custom built and be able to produce them over and over and over again. So we estimate that's going to be about another $150,000. So we're about $300,000 total is what it's going to cost to get us through phase four uh, and phase five, the Connex. And that doesn't account for our time. So we definitely need help uh, to cover our costs for the, the labor and time that we spend on this because otherwise we can't feed ourselves <laughs> and pay our own bills. Uh, so we look forward to hearing from you. We will look forward to working with you. Uh, we're really excited about it. And uh, we hope this video has got your attention. And again, talk to you soon. Take care.